Hi, this is a technical breakdown video of the STEM audio ecosystem ceiling array. The ceiling array is just that. It's an array designed to be either mounted or hung from the ceiling. It consists of 100 microphones spread throughout the surface, as well as a light ring that indicates the different states of the device. If you're seeing a slow red pulse, that means the device is muted. If you're seeing a rapid red pulse, it means the device is being pinged. A solid red ring means you have a device error. A slow blue pulse means the device is booting up, whereas a slow blue pulse that then turns off means the device is restarting. Blue light turning completely on and off repeatedly means the device is adapting and testing the environment. A dim solid blue light means the device is on. A rapid blue pulse means the device just finished booting up. On the flip side, we have our connector panel. Our connector panel consists of two connectors. One of them is our RJ45 Ethernet connector, which is both our data and power. And right next to it, our USB bead that's designed to plug in directly into a PC in case we use this as a standalone device. The ceiling array can actually cover in three different beams. The first beam is what we call wide, which is 60 degrees. And the use for this would be in a room where you have decent acoustics and you want to be able to use as few products as possible to cover the most amount of space. After that, we have medium. Medium is a 20 degree angle, and it's designed to be used in a room that's maybe a little bit more reverberant and you might have some audio issues. So you'll set more devices in that room and you'll set all of them to medium so that you cover less of that reverberance. Finally, we have narrow. The idea behind narrow is a little bit different. What we're doing here is we're literally covering only the person that's standing directly underneath the device. This is designed for situations like a podium speaker or any case where you want to make sure that you actually don't pick up anybody that's not directly underneath the device. In order to install the stem ceiling device, just make sure it's secured to your ceiling, then plug it into your ethernet jack, make sure the ethernet jack supports PoE plus or provide it with a PoE plus injector, give it a couple of minutes to boot up, and then go ahead and move on to the platform to install the device in the room. We'll talk more about that in section two. That's it. Thank you for watching.